We have a uh, career expo where students from um, secondary, middle school, and high school can come out and talk to employers about the different career pathways. We have kids and parents and community members who are coming through to let their children, let their kids see the different businesses and corporations, trades that they may be interested in when they graduate from one of our high schools. I think that's a great opportunity for other students, even like pre-high school, like in middle school and stuff, that's great to get an idea of what you want to do in the future because it's important to have a plan, it's important to have an idea because people get to that point in college and they're almost about to graduate and they still have no clue. There's many hands-on activities here, but also a lot of information that probably will flood them with more ideas than they ever imagined about different career pathways out there that they don't, they're not aware of. It's fields that are growing extensively to where we can't keep up with the, the need for them. So we're out here looking for students that are in need of something in the medical field and there's so many options that they don't know about and so we're out here to promote that. You ask a student what do you think you could do at HEB and they think they can check and bag groceries. They think we have 100,000 checkers and baggers and really we don't. You know we have over 600 people that work in IT. We have a full digital department. We have our own manufacturing plants. I mean, you name it, we have it. And students just don't know that. So really educating them on the careers they can have. We're here to talk about the steps that's required to get to an architecture degree or for an engineering degree. Help students understand the path to engineering and the path to architecture. What I hope that they take away is that um, they, they shouldn't be limited by what they are currently interested in now. You know, it's really important to develop transferable skills. So it's a group of business and industry leaders that actually are helping our career and tech programs become better programs and align with workforce needs. And so those type of pro, uh, that type of organization actually uh, helps us put this on, but also the funds go to scholarships for students in career and technical education programs at each of the high schools. I received the Career and Technical Scholarship from NEISD. I was so thrilled and so blessed to have this opportunity to have the scholarship. And one thing that I want to do as an entrepreneur is to create a model to help others. And maybe one day when I become successful, I can help someone just as this scholarship has helped me. I think any time a school reaches out to the public in general, especially to the professional community, is a great opportunity for both industries to see what in fact we're going to get in the near future and what we can provide as the new industry changes. As a Northeast product myself, it is very um, gratifying to come back and give back to the community to um, a system that has given me so much in my life. Follow your heart. It's where you're at. Right? I think we're living in that industry and age where we're more connected with our technology more so than previous generations. And so students have a bigger and a larger gamut to choose from in regards to careers.